hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i wanted to share with you guys all my hair care products that i use for the fall so if you want to know stay tuned all right so i'm gonna start off with kind of the order that i use everything in it's not my whole hair care system but it's majority of it what I kind of do um so I always switch things up every season majority of the time with fall I really like to put a lot of moisture back in my hair because being outside in the summer a lot my hair gets a little dry so by the time fall comes I just really need a lot of hydration and with fall too kids start school I really try to not take as much time getting ready in the morning and so I just need to do quick things so a lot of stuff that I have here are quick ready to the point because I really need to get sometimes ready in like five minutes so all right the first thing is my shampoo and conditioner so I have been using I feel like I'm always like butchering this name Fikai Fikai products so I just got this and started using it it's their um she she bought her one it is this one's actually intense moisture very very nice i actually feel that my hair is really soft with this but i've only started using this so like i said really like a moisturizer um and like an intense moisturizer shampoo or conditioner but i actually have been using their leave-in conditioners so i actually have been using this one lately which is their treatment mask. Now I actually have extensions in here and my hairdresser has told me that my hair really does feel like it's brand new, like she just put the new ext like extensions in for the first time. So I know that this mask is doing something because with hair extensions, you really need to use a lot of moisture. So I have used this one a couple times because this one's a color treated one, <laughs> but I haven't really dyed my hair lately. I actually just got it toned a little bit but other than that i have not dyed my hair for two years so but this this one when i was using um when i was dyeing my hair it was actually not fading my color so that is everything that i do washing wise all right so after i wash my hair mask of course the next thing is i put some products in there for um you know just for like st for styling obviously but moisture is like my main key so i actually use by r and co their waterfall this one's a little bit more intense of a moisturizer so because i need the extra hydration with the extensions and i'm really trying to keep them long lasting as possible this one's a really good moisture lotion um i put that in and then Majority of the time, you will see my hair curl like this, so I really don't let it air dry a lot. One, my the extensions, I have really thick curly hair, but it's that like beachy, crunchy looking curls. So this, the hair extensions don't do that. So nine out of 10 times when I use my detangler or my heat protector i use an all-in-one i have ones that i like that are separated because i might be just um needing to let it air dry but in this case for the fall and especially with the hair extensions i always use my um i use my heatless curls but i still have to blow dry my hair straight so it's like a <laughs> it's like a no win because I'm trying not to use heat, but I have to because you have to at least blow dry your hair once a week with the extensions to kind of smooth them out. So anyways, what I use is with my two-in-one for heat protector and a tangler is I absolutely love, you guys have heard me talk about this before, Dry Bar, their pep rally spray if I would like to focus. Man, this is just, there we go. This one's a really awesome detangler and heat protector so i use i've been using this one but before i'm gonna try to attempt to not use a lot of heat in my hair um for the fall so if i'm gonna be doing that 
I love using Arnco's pinstripe just as a detangler. And then Faxi Bay, they're heat protected. But I do use this too that um majority of the time I don't straighten my hair because my extensions are really long. You can like my hair's so thick and the extensions are not as thick as my hair. You can kind of see it poof here. Well, like my hair's like this long and then like straight so i don't use this too much but to straighten my hair but if i need to use my flat iron i do spray my hair and let it dry for a few seconds before actually putting the straightener on my hair and then i actually just got this in my ipsy bag this is actually awesome it is a hair waffle towel wrap I've never used a towel before for my hair. I've always used the you know regular body towel, you know, just to dry my hair. But this I feel what's really nice is I noticed that my ends would dry super fast if I just let my hair dry before I blow dry, and then still up here would be it would be really wet compared to my ends. So I actually put my hair in this towel and I wrap it. And I've noticed that my hair is one, drying a little faster, and two, it's drying more evenly. So when I take it out, I probably wear this for about two hours. So then when I take it out, it's easier to blow dry it and it doesn't take as long to blow dry. So if you guys have not tried one of these waffle towels, you need to. This one's by, I think this is the company, Etitude. I'm not really sure but um there's other companies that um obviously have this but if you can get this one and they're not that expensive either i would highly recommend it all right so after my hair is dry and i'm ready to blow dry i actually have been using i do really really love foxy's bay um their hair tools so i actually have their blowout brush so i actually use this first to blow dry my hair it's quicker for me one because you're not holding a brush and the blow dryer it's a two-in-one obviously it actually dries your hair a little bit faster so i actually use this just um to blow dry my hair followed by i have to straighten it before i even curl it so i actually have their their straightener as well really do like this product too it actually has a clip right here so you can kind of lock it to keep it closed but these are the two as of now because I do have another tool but I want to wait until I actually get to that point um in my routine these are the ones that I use before um like styling styling my hair because I really don't consider the blow drying and the straightening styling because I have to do it anyways but I will for that day have my hair straight because it actually will stay straight and it's really right here where my extensions um where my hair like my natural hair ends it actually is very how do i it's very it's very flat kind of well not flat but it's really together with my extensions so you don't notice it so i can have my hair straight for the one day but those are the products that i use to straighten my hair all right now when i go to bed i have to have my hair tied back because of the extensions so i would always use one of these type of hair ties i absolutely love these ones instead of like the normal like ones like this but if i want my hair to be curly like this or if i want to just freshen up my curls i'll do this every other day is i use my heatless curls so with the heatless curls it actually comes with two clips and then this is what the tool looks like and then it comes with two hair ties i actually posted in my hat mom summer series a how-to on using this now i did notice when i would for when i was first using this i actually had my hair wet it actually curled but then i 
before I get there. It act, but it was actually getting my hair, like my natural curliness was coming underneath and it just wasn't looking right. I actually started using this dry and it curls it a lot, a lot better. So, but check out my Hot Mom Summer series from this past summer and you can see how I use it, but it's very simple. You just put it on top here, you clip the clips, and then once you wrap your hair, you take the hair tie and wrap it at the end. Now, I don't leave it with the two of them right here. I actually tie my hair in another scrunchie to the back and then wear it, my hair on my side because one, I always end up like pulling my hair this way, but two, it's just because of the way that I sleep, but it's actually, it's very, very comfortable to sleep in. So since I have to tie my hair, I love using this product, but I love that when I, in the morning when I just, here's my quick five it's not even five minutes to do my hair it's like two minutes run my fingers through my hair to brush it and i got these awesome curls all right now i have been using a sea salt spray this one is by n and b their um sea salt texture spray now what i'll do is after i wrap my hair in the heatless curls i'll actually spray it because one i have so much of so many of these sprays sea salt sprays and i can't use them because my hair i'm not naturally letting it curl so it doesn't work with the extensions but this actually holds it a little bit better with the heatless curl so i'll just put those in spray and then go to bed all right then finally when i wake up in the morning if i need to fix the only time i really need to fix anything is maybe possibly something in the front like this one bang might curl weird i actually use my t3 curling iron love this curling iron just curl it stays and holds all day that's it otherwise i don't even use this i probably have not used this curling iron in weeks i've let's see i've had my hair extensions in for about two and a half months and probably only used it like twice so but if i do need a curling iron i love this curling iron it really holds the curls nice and then since I only actually wash my hair once a week, which it does last that long, I actually have a couple of styling products that I use. All right, my favorite, favorite dry shampoo is Death Valley by r &Co. This dry shampoo is amazing, so I'll actually spray this in my hair. Um, and it actually works really well on days like five and six, or by that time I end up tying my hair back anyways with one of these on its side. but. This is a really, really good dry shampoo. It smells good, and I always go back to that one. And then if I need some volume, I actually just started using this, and I actually really, really love it. It's Balloon by r and Co. It's their dry volume spray. This one really does lift your hair up if it's flat, so I would highly recommend this one. So I will probably be using that a lot in the fall. And then also Two-Way Mirror by r and Co. So again, like I said, I need to keep my ends really, really hydrated. So that liquid serum, it's like liquid glass. It's really awesome for my hair. All right, so that's all my favorite products for the fall. A lot of them are stuff that I've been using throughout the summer and the spring and the winter. Some of them are new and some of them I just use for the fall. But I, it's not even all my products. It's just like now that I have hair extensions, I really have to kind of do stuff differently for the fall. Like I've never, like, I mean, I've always used my heatless curls, but I use it every single day, if not every other day because of my extensions. So I kind of switched a lot of things up, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you've tried any of these products or if there's any products for the fall that you love absolutely for your hair link it in the comments below give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget also subscribe or follow me on instagram the link is in the description below and i'll see you guys in my next one